So in lab four, we are first going to look at the order of primates, which is a very large order containing a lot of different um, suborders and families. So to start off with, our, the very first suborder within this um, order of primates is our suborder of Strepsini, and this includes lemurs, lorises, and galagos. So within this suborder, these guys have um, a renarium, which is a moist, uh, the moist hairless skin surrounding their nostrils. They have a max maximum dental formula of 36 teeth. They have a bicornate uterus with two horns. They have non-invasive epitheliochorial placenta. They have temporal fossa present which basically means that there's no plate separating the orbits and the temple any longer. They have this um, unique tooth comb, which is created by the lower incisors and is used for grooming. And they have pseudo-opposable thumbs or a pollux, which is set at 180 degrees from their other digits. So the first family that we'll look at within um, the order of primates is family Lemuridae, which are our lemurs. Uh, within this family, these guys have smaller eyes because uh, they are not nocturnal. They eat fruit, flowers, and leaves, and some even eat bamboo. They're restricted to um, Madagascar. They are diurnal or crepuscular, which means that they're uh, most active kind of uh, between dawn and dusk um, uh, but they again are not nocturnal most are arboreal clinging um, and leaping on trees their first upper incisor is separated by a large space so I'll point that out in just a second um, their lower incisors and canines are in a forward projecting dental comb which is used for grooming uh, as i have previously mentioned the females are actually the dominant sex within this family um, olfaction is super important to them because of social activities um, they have to scent mark branches and tree trunks with urine um, anal glands or st sternal glands and they have sexual dichromaticism which essentially means that the males and females have different uh, colors of pelage. So here we have a picture of what their um, digits look like and the claws and nails on their digits as well as that tooth comb that I had men mentioned earlier for grooming. Here we have a skeletal mount of a lemur, unfortunately without a head. And then in front of me I have um, two lemur skulls. Unfortunately, they don't have um, their upper incisors to point out that space, but basically they would be up here in these gaps and that space in the middle is what I was talking about. These are the bottom teeth and jaws. And that is our second lemur skull. Next, within the order of primates, and still within the suborder of Strepsini, we have our family Lorisidae, or our lorises and potos. And we have two skeletal mounts in front of me here. But basically, these guys are from the Oriental and Ethiopian faunal regions. They are nocturnal, and I'll point out that they have quite large eyes in just a second. Um, they are insectivorous in, and frugivorous, which means that they're eating mainly insects and fruit. They have a second toe with a very large claw, uh, which is used for grooming. Um, they are arboreal and they um, deliberately use a hand over hand motion uh, rather than leaping from tree to tree as other primates do. Um, their tails are short or absent, um, and again, that's mainly because they're not leaping, so they don't need that balance, but rather they're kind of climbing. 
They have a prominent temporal ridge. They have broad post or uh, a broad post orbital bar and a very strong zygomatic arch. And they um, utilize a marking behavior using urine or anal glands. And they also communicate using vocalizations um, and they have limited facial expressions. So these are our two specimens that we have in the lab. As you can see, he kind of has those really large eye sockets and you can um, see that hand over hand motion that they use when they're climbing as well as um, there is no tail present and this is our other specimen. Again, with no tail present. The last family within our suborder of Strepsini is our family Galagidae, and these are bush babies. Uh, they are insectivorous or omnivorous, or they eat fruit and grains. They can be uh, found in the Ethiopian faunal region. They are nocturnal, so they also have very large eyes. They're arboreal. Um, they have super large mobile ears, and they have large hind legs and tail to assist with leaping and bounding, unlike um, the um, lorises and potos, who uh, did not leap from tree to tree. Their second toe is mo also modified for grooming. They eat insects or fruit or sap or grain, as I previously mentioned. They do not have a temporal ridge. Their post-orbital bar is about medium weight and they do have a zygomatic arch and they have an inflated auditory bullae. So unfortunately, the only specimen that we have in the lab is our little um, bush baby skull. And so I'll just show you that a little bit closer up so you can see. And I'll turn this one around.